I wanted to show you this because people do ask you know do do bees need water and um, yes in fact they do but this isn't just water this is actually birch sap that I've tapped from a birch tree and they are tucking into it with uh, a certain amount of enthusiasm I think there's a couple more bees well they were they've moved now <clears throat> and you can see there are bees arriving and uh, supping this now the reason the reason it's here, the reason I put this particular little bowl right here was because in this one, the other day when I showed up at this apiary, um, this uh, damp um, woody material that I'd left in a, uh, a, a sawn off water bottle, um, bees were in there taking water. There were about two or three, maybe four bees in there at any given time. And then I put this down, and you can see these bees really are loving this birch sap. Which is interesting because I thought they might, because it does contain um, a small amount of sugar. Um, it also contains a lot of amino acids. It contains uh, methyl salicylate, which is has been used uh, traditionally against uh, nosema nosema apis in bees during winter and um, it also contains betulinic acid which has a number of known medicinal qualities now I, I'm not aware of anybody having done research uh, on birch sap on honeybees but I think probably judging by their response to this little little very basic and crude setup um, I think it's about time somebody did don't you they seem very very keen to drink this stuff So I've given them some moss um, to stand on. The, the, I've only just put the moss in there, which is why it looks dry, but it's actually it's, it is slightly damp. But um, moss is a, a favourite place for bees to go to drink because it's a safe place to land and uh, moss soaks up water like a sponge. And I think bees find it a particularly easy and uh, comfortable place to drink from. So as that gets damp, I think we'll probably see more more bees on the on the moss. But at the moment, they're happy sitting on that uh, sliver of wood. So there we go. Looks like birch sap might be a might be a winner as far as at least as far as the bees' uh, own taste is concerned. We can't tell anything from this in terms of its uh, its alleged benefits. Uh, to bees of course that's entirely speculative but as I said um, it looks to me like it's uh, it would deserve some further research at least